Still, lots of businesses will not reopen under phase yellow tomorrow and say that they have been unfairly denied waivers to reopen from the state. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan spoke with some of those businesses and the state auditor general who is looking into the fairness of the Wolf administration's waiver program. Andy. Susan, complaints about the waiver program have been heard all over the state. Why did some businesses get them and others did not? Well, Auditor General Eugene De Pasquale says he intends to get to the bottom of it. A southwestern Pennsylvania businesses prepare to open their doors tomorrow. Others will be stuck at the starting gate. Despite taking steps to make their customers safe, hair salons like Izazu downtown will not be part of the yellow phase and have been denied a waiver from the state. We have, uh, you know, every guideline, we went above and beyond the guidelines. Mm -hmm. We are ready to open. And we also want to make sure that this waiver process is as fair and as transparent as possible. Auditor General Eugene D. Pasquale is auditing the waiver program for fairness, trying to determine if the influence of lobbyists and legislators resulted in some getting waivers while others did not. What raises the initial harm is when one business seems similar was closed and the, and the other business that seems very similar was granted a waiver. That, that's something that at least at first blush um, is, can be a bit alarming. Emilio Izazu questions why hands-on chiropractors and dentists have resumed operations while he can't. In fact, my dentist called me the other day. Hey, I can get you in. I'm thinking, why can't we be doing that in a hair salon? The day the governor's ruling on the 18th that people couldn't look at properties anymore, I mean, you saw a precipitous drop every day compared to the year before in, in new sales. Home sales are down more than 50% since the governor ordered that agents could not show houses to clients. The real estate industry has also been denied a waiver statewide, and prospective buyers have been waiting. But beginning tomorrow, under the yellow phase, they'll be able to look at houses in person. Tomorrow uh, will be like an onslaught because uh, this, this morning I understand we had 564 appointments as of 10 o'clock this morning for people to go look at houses tomorrow and Saturday. Well, there's a pent-up demand for houses, and there's certainly a pent-up demand for haircuts, Or, but you won't be able to get one or sit down in a restaurant until we enter into the green phase or until those businesses get a waiver. De Pasquale says that he will complete his audit in a few weeks. Reporting live on the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.